pub is coming along nicely, and the mine's looking more and more like a proper working pit. But the more tunnels you open up, the more workers you'll need to fill up. It's about time to you rang that blessed bell again and brought in a few new faces. A few more miners and metal output will go up, and I can get more bums on seats in my pub. The more they drink, the more they dig. It's a win-win situation. And if you ain't banked up enough energy just yet, just make yourself busy and see if there's anyone in need of a favor or two. I should earn you some gratitude. Probably in, dude. More miners means more punters in the pub. And more metal coming out of the mine. Also means more burly blokes chasing after me darling pabs, too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not really a good father making a live in a rough, tough place like this. Your missus passed away years back. Since then, I've been raising pabs single-handed. Love that girl more than life itself. It is the vine apple of my eye. Oh, dude, what have I done? How could I ever think that it would be okay to let Babs, my own flesh and blood, dress up like some salad munching sideshow? Maybe I should just pull on the fishnets myself. It wouldn't get the bar bustling by, like Babs would, but I reckon it would tickle the fancy of a few of the these fellers. Dad? You don't have to do that. I've decided. I'm going to be a dancing girl, just like Mom was. Well, that was fast. Oh, my darling. Uh, you've made your old dad proud. I'm kind of miffed that I won't get to wear a lovely leotard myself. <laughs> oh boy, we got some activities. With a builder like you on our side, I'm sure the glory days will return to Grumble Dunn soon enough. I can hardly believe we let the ch children of Argon fool us for so long. Building, the root of all evil, what a load of cobblers. You've shown us the light, dude. You've shown us that we don't have to spend our whole lives living in the Dark Ages. Speaking of darkness, do you know what I think this town could do with some street lights? I go, it gets far too gloomy at night, after dark. We could really do with brightening up the place a bit. Ten sconces should be plenty to make things nice and bright. Might help to keep the ghosts and ghoulies away, too. How's it going, dude? I've been watching you build your and whatnot. I've got to say you work pretty hard for someone so puny. Now we've got more miners living here. We need a few more facilities, starting with a proper place to rest our aching mu muscles after a day down in the pit. I'm talking about a dormitory, ain't I? Small room with eight beds, true of pots, and inside and wall should do. It's got to be a small room. That's the most important thing. Early boys like us can't sleep without our bulging biceps bumping up against another. Okay, we can now make the inside. He wants a small room to sleep in. Oh boy. Hi, dude. Looks like you're making decent progress rebuilding Dad's pub. We've got a good thing going with the drinks. But we're still missing a signature dish. Something that'll fill the miners' bellies after a long day of digging. I've got an idea for what I want to do, but I can't do it myself. Can you help me here, dude? Thanks. What I want is a room all my own, where I can try out some of the recipes I've been digging up. It'll need a mushroom in it a chest, and two bonfires. Everything you need to make a mushroom cook room. But all kinds of different fungi grow in the tunnels. But they're pretty fragile. I need a live one for me room, so don't mash it with your mallet. Pick it up nice and gently with your gloves. Oh. That's a problem. I've, like, mined every single mushroom in the area. Well, I'll see what I can do. I did say I wanted a pile, uh, a big old pile room, so small basic bedroom. So this is actually pretty close to what we need. Okay. So there's four. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Didn't mean to put that away. I'm not actually sure if I needed more of those. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I'm rotating wrong. Okay. And we also need some more pots. Do we have any pots? No. So I should get a couple of those going. Okay. Pots. I'll make nine.
Okay, so what are you now? A small room. What am I missing? Oh, I haven't actually made the room yet. Oh, inside, of course. Because it's the it's one of the newer things. I totally forgot. Can't place that. Dang it. There we go. Okay, so now we got a dormitory. It's like my dreams have been answered. This dormitory is perfect. The lads will be chuffed to bits. Poor Blimey Dude, why'd you have to be so nice and clever and pretty? Listen here, you stick to Malroth, all right? Or Goldilocks, if that's your thing. But don't even think about getting your hooks into Babs. She's mine! No! What the? What's gotten into you, Goldilocks? Dude, ain't your type? Pretty lady, not belong to you. Me like pretty lady. Oh, for crying out loud. You give a guy a copper bonds, and he only goes and gets ideas in it. You gotta hand it to him, though. Never misses a chance to give his two nuggets worth when Babs' name crops up. One track mind that fella. All right then, game on. But if I was Babs, and I had to pick between a half-baked builder, a metal-headed moron, or Digby the iron-abbed Adonis, I know why I'd choose. Okay, so now we've got that. Move them around for a bit. Uh, let's see. We finished. We finished that. We've still got to work on her mushroom room. Which is actually a bit of a problem. Because I kind of destroyed a lot. Uh, let's see. I actually need more of that. But we can make more of those kind of whenever. Uh, ba 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 ba. We need to make 10 of these. Oh, but I don't have enough torches, because I don't have any oil. Okay, well that's a, that's a definitively later thing. I go this way? Might have a mushroom over here. Correction. <laughs> nope. Can't go that way anytime soon. So we'll be opening up these mines for sure at later dates, but yeah, not right now. Well, let's hope we got a mushroom just lying around that I've totally missed. Otherwise, this might get kind of awkward. Okay, there we go. Oh no, for a second I thought one of these guys was actually taking a minecart by. I do wish you'd actually see them using the minecarts and so on and so forth. Okay. Wow, you go up those diagonal ramps real fast. Either that or I just had a burst of speed. Okay. Well, one way or another, mushroom. Well, that was fast and easy. Is that me, Mushroom Cook Room? It's lovely. You can almost smell the spores. This place will be perfect for tending me shrooms and rustling up some recipes. Give me a bit longer and I'll... Sure, I can come up with an idea for this pub signature dish. Mm -hmm. Eh? You reckon it, I'm a thoughtful daughter? The way I'm always thinking about how to build up my dad's bar? Ain't nothing, really. I just want to make a dish that'll give me... Give the lads the energy they need to down the mine. Mm -hmm. If anything, you're the thoughtful one. The way you've... Stuck around to help us all out. Suppose that fellow feeling of yours must have rubbed off on me. Well, it's high time I knuckled down and got to work on the recipe. You'll help me if I need it, right, dude? Okay, so what do mushroom cook rooms do? 
that's that's not helpful. I don't care about the size. I want to. I, I care about how these work. So dormitories. Let's see. Bare bones bedroom that's barely bearable when the body heat rises. Oh, baby. Uh, let's see. Mushroom cook room. We'll cook fungal foodstuffs. So, oh. We're getting attacked. That doesn't happen in a while. And it looks like they are coming from this direction. Unfortunately, it looks like they came from outside of town, so we might want to make the wall right here. I'll have to figure out exactly how I want to build this wall. But yeah, if we just make this great wall right here, it should work out. Okay, switch the hammer. And bonk. Let's see. So, we don't need the bread right now. Torch. Pots. Okay, so we could use some more of that. I gotta go get me some more, um... Slime. Didn't we have a... Yeah, we have a wooden door. I'm just gonna use that. I guess I might as well kill the... The bunnicorns here. Where's the... But, what game has bunnets in it? I've totally forgotten. An infinite supply of goo would definitely be something I'd like to go out of my way for. If any of the ex exploration islands have that, I'd be very happy to have it. Alternatively, an infinite supply of food. That would probably never happen, though. How good is this shell armor? Uh, I think it's either 26, 24 to 28 armor. It's somewhere in there. It's been a while since I checked the exact stats for it. I just... I'm amused by being a little turtle man running around. Xenoblade has bunnets. That's what it is. Okay. I'm willing to bet there's a slime island. I think that would actually be really cool if you, you just got, like, uh, a whole bunch of random exploration islands to just churn through. Tortoise shell is 23 defense. Okay, so it's it's a little bit less than what I remember, but I have yet to need I have yet to like really need to upgrade. I don't have the chainmail for 20, 28 defense, but like eh. Not a whole lot of orange slimes around here. But yeah, for a relatively early game piece of armor that I just, like, found in Chapter 1, yeah, it more or less is meant I can just, like, waltz through everything freely. It's quite nice. Let's see. Unfortunately, those torches require a lot of orange slime. Ugh. I'm not swimming in this stuff. Hopefully we find a better supply of it at some point. Okay, while well we're here. Collect a bunch of iron. Don't think I can make too many sconces. We'll see how, how many I can make. Well, 24, 25 torches actually does amount to quite a fair bit. Okay. Oh, and we can make simple simple beds now. Good. So next up, we should probably go make some more digger jiggers, so I could work on finish the finishing these flagons off. Let's see. Anything else? 
How do we put this back on? Where's it go? So, I need a lot of these four flagons here. Okay. I need steak. I wonder how much just raw meat gets you. Probably not enough to justify it. My main problem is I just, I don't like the, the act of constantly putting everything down and then waiting for it to cook. Okay, now they'll mine even more metal. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like she will just be slowly generating mushroom-related food. Good. Hopefully she generates even more than that. Wait, some of these people are called, like, Big Beefcake. Oh, take a look at the names. Yeah, Swole Soul. Uh, near the, near the heart thing. Everybody that drops a heart has a name, and some of the, yeah, Potent Pitman. Some of the just, like, uh, random mobs have great, great monikers of a sort. Okay, so we still haven't found any iron yet, which is awkward. Listen here, lads. Light's fading fast, so we better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Gather around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration. Looks like we bagged a bumper all. Cool copper. And, woo, he's gonna get through this pretty quick. 714 left. Okay. Oh, but I can't make a scarecrow, so farming's pointless until then. Uh, ugh, what do we bother with? I do this, what does that do? Oh, that did exactly what I wanted it to do. Might as well slowly replace some of these with Adobe so it looks nice. And it doesn't replace the, uh... It doesn't replace the windows either. That's a nice change of pace. Now, can I make Adobe? As a block type. Yes, I can. I can make a whole bunch. Eh, why not? That cost me a lot of stone, but we'll get more, probably. So yeah, next up we gotta get some iron. Let's make some windows. Okay, well, I finished this. So let's let's get the torches up. I'm gonna put them on these unbreakable metal blocks because I figure these are these are things that I'm never gonna be able to like interact with or move. This seems like a good idea. Might also be pretty good, um... Ghost prevention. Thanks, dude! This place looks much brighter now! As you've no doubt noticed, life in this town revolves around two things, the mine and the pub. During the day, the miners head underground and work the seams. Then after the sun sets, they head to the bar and work their drinking muscles. Can you see where Crumble Dunn earned its reputation as the town that never sleeps? Yep, those blokes love living it up in the pub till the early hours. Now that we have lights to ward off mean spirits, they can. All that's missing is their drinking hole. Well, I don't have any more errands for you right now. But if you wanted to place a few more street lights about town, you won't hear me complaining. Whew. And thank you, Tatabukas, for the 11 minutes. Oh, is life. Are we having a muscly evening? You do have more more tasks for me. Stop lying. 
Hello there, dude. Now that we've got a few more miners on board, opening up the deeper mine shafts is a real possibility. Leave it to me, Melrog. Magrog. I'll lead the lads as deep as can be and see what I can find. Memory serves. There is a vein of iron just past where you found the copper. That could have been very handy for rebuilding the pub. <laughs> iron, eh? Lovely jubbly. Me and the lads will go and scope it out. Meet us in the mines when you're ready, dude. Let's see. It looks like there's an open corner in the wall. Uh, what? My stone wall or the wall for the pub? Because the pub's not done yet. You have down to the mine again, dude. Here, take these. I made it myself. We can't have you getting hungry now, can we? Hey! How come you get a lovely, lovingly crafted lunch and I get diddly squat? It's not fair! Anyway, don't forget that your job isn't all about mining for metal. You also gotta fix up the tunnels so the miners can get get to the seams. Righto, once you've led them safely to the iron, bring me back ten lumps so I can give it a once over. Let's get digging. Where are they going? Oh! We're going this way. No minecarts out here. Well, once we have iron, we could potentially cart all the way here. Or we've just taken a really roundabout method to get here. Huh. What the? Where did they... Oh, did they just, like, warp it? Warp all the way down? They did. Cheaters. Did I not interact with the... Ah, son of a butt. I didn't interact with the Navis Shrine. What? Thank you, Kicks, for the 100 bits. Okay, let's grab that. And then... I don't even know where my minecart is. Oh! L1R1, of course. I totally forgot. I did, I was just on the wrong map. You're right. Oh, I was in the right spot. I just turned the wrong wall. Oops. Watch it, dude. Watch it, Malroth. Glad you can make it. The tingling triceps tell me there's a tunnel on the other side of this wall. We could have knocked it down without your help, but we thought it was best to wait. That's to put that hammer of yours to good use. Rusty Wrecking Ball will do the trick, too. Go on, do us a favor and bring that wall down. Whoops. Oh, they don't like that. There's something on the other side that is unhappy. Well. I'm gonna leave that there, see what happens. Eh, it's only 24 damage. Nice one, dude! I knew there was another tunnel behind that wall. Let's push on, lads. I reckon there's a whole stinking load of iron down that way. As a word of advice, if you catch any of the lads staring into space, it could be a sign we've spotted a problem. So don't make us suffer in silence. See if you can sort us out. Well, if I ever need clawed stone. Oh boy. Ow. Okay, we might want to switch up to, uh... But it is still nighttime. Ooh, boy, that hurts. Uh, let's see. So bread is actually really good, really filling. Can do this. 
Just not well. But yeah, I wanted to try murdering one of these guys once. Dude, drop some hella food. And nothing more. But yeah, bombs, bombs actually don't do a whole lot of damage here. Uh, as... Honestly, you should have been paying attention. We just determined that bombs do 24 damage. That's not really enough to do any amount of... Any amount of harm to, well, anything. Neat idea. Not super effective. Melroth got... Got wrecked. Probably just come back later. I thought it was daytime because I wasn't paying attention. I guess it's almost daytime. I can hold out. Maybe I can. Okay, we gotta mend the supports. Oh, but there's light around here. Maybe I'm safe? Nope. Okay, let's just go back into Crumbled on. At least for now. Okay. And we're good. How long do we have? I got 19 minutes before I gotta stop. I'd like to play more of this because I'd like to keep playing this forever. But I also gotta play games with my friends. Uh, let's see. So, what we wait for... Wow! Look at this place. Ah. The texture changed. And they all just pop up. Okay. What I should probably do is have some kind of brick block for, like, an intermediary or something. But yeah, I might make a second floor to the inn. Uh, let's see, we have sandstone bricks. They look appropriate. They certainly match the rest. Now, is it sandstone bricks on the floor? Because it might be. I don't know. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to work on cosmetics here. Let's see. Do we want to do flagstones? I'll do flagstones. It might get a little tight in there, but honestly, like, I can't. I can't make my buildings too tall. They end up looking really weird in comparison to how, like, tall the characters are. If I put a dopey wall on top of these. There we go. Yeah, that matches really well. Okay, so I live here now. So the main question is, how do I even want to have this attached? Uh... Is it a... Hmm... I mean, yeah, we might as well have the door in the exact same spot as the previous floor. My main problem is we don't have any good... Temp floors. Like, there's nothing thin enough to really fit my fancy here. We might want to wait on that one. I'll just leave it as such for now. Uh, let's see. Well, seeing as it's daytime, 
Let's just go back down here and see if we can finish it. Go for an internal staircase. No! Those really are never a good idea. Uh, this game could do a lot of things, but internal staircases are one of the ones that work real poorly. Especially for small dwellings like uh, that one. I'm actually really tempted to uh, to almost make the, the building connect to the upper floor of the pub. But no, I, I've tried internal staircases in these games before. It is is real bad. Let's see. Is that it? Oh, I do! Ain't forgetting to fix some support somewhere, are ya? But, come on. Ain't forgetting. Shoot. You know, the NPCs are like, keep working! It's like, I'm. Not done. There we go. Uh, let's see. Off to work they go. So yeah, we gotta pick up some iron. We have this whole area. Yeah, so we got a couple of areas to bust through. This might just be a bonus path. But you know what? Bonus paths are okay. What is this? What is that thing? Is it like a spawn point? It's... It's a bed. It's a weird bed. Roth gets stronger and dude reaches level 13. Breath Gage gets a little bit bigger. Oh, that's nice. And that's about it. I am taking this monstrosity. We've got a rock bomb bed. We've learned a new recipe. How to make more of them? Hell yeah. I think everybody's gonna go get a rock bomb bomb bed for their private quarters. And that's just going to be how it all boils down. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to grab all these. So why are interior staircases bad? Uh, the NPCs don't use them. And they're also a giant waste of space. Uh, also, holes in floors make it so the NPCs, um, or so the building is not... Uh, it might be slightly different. Oh, did they just bail? No, they didn't just bail. Okay, uh, but rooms don't always, like, function well if there's a hole in the floor. Uh, so you usually have to have, like, this weird entryway. It, it's just never worked great. It might work better in, uh, in Dragon Quest Builders 2. But I prefer the staircases to be outside anyway, just because it's kind of hard to navigate interiors. I'm gonna keep grabbing all of these. At some point, we're gonna get the bar open, and hopefully, he'll just be able to make up all the drinks and give them to all the dudes instead. Oh, I'm never going to want for cord. Bombs away. It would be really nice if one of the level ups actually made it so my block pickup radius was just a bit, just a bit larger. I can't honestly think of any situations where it wouldn't be useful. Hello. This is kind of tremendous. And more bombs. Okay, so what is this? It's like an underground living situation, obviously. Is 
this be it? Is there nothing here? Oh! I didn't realize this is a test. I was just like, who lives down here and why? Probably is supposed to make them all the same. Oh. Probably shouldn't mirror them too much. Okay. I'm not convinced this is right. Oh, no, that's... That one's correct. Or, no, it's a sequence. Okay, so dresser's got to be on the right. I thought I was supposed to make them all match, but no. This is kind of weird. But so be it. There we go. Now that I've got the mini metal, can I tear this all up and keep the stuff? Because some of these actually are, look kind of nice. Nope. Dang it. I was hoping that would be something I could keep. It was not. Okay. Grab that iron. Uh, not iron. Coal. Because we actually did run out of coal earlier. I don't think we're going to run out eventually. Like, I think the miners will pretty much just keep us going in as we expand production. It won't be a big deal. That's a good idea to grab a bunch all the same. Uh, you know what? I have so many of these bombs. We might as well just speed things along a little bit. Oh, we got a chunk of iron! Hey! And we probably just learned how to make a whole bunch of stuff. Iron ingots! Or no, we probably gotta get the iron ingots first. What was that you just picked up? Was it iron? Old man Magrox said he wanted ten lumps, so we can't stop yet. Let's try and find some more. Dude, my pecs are pulsating at the unmistakable rhythm of iron. This must be the place. Scaffolding ain't the best nick, though. Doesn't even look like we can climb the flipping thing to sink our picks into the metal up top. What you reckon, dude? Think you can draw us up one of your famous blueprints? Once that thing's repaired, I can send my lads up without having to worry about them falling off and breaking their necks. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch up there. And also a warp stone. Probably grab that. Okay, so we need stone steps, ladders, and some sconces. Is that blue uh, that the blueprint for the scaffolding? Looks like you got it all figured out, dude. Soon as the ladder and the platform are fixed, me and the lads will shimmy up there and get to work on the seam. You need a nice long ladder to get up there. The first few rungs in place, then you can build the rest as you climb. If you're looking for somewhere to work your building magic. There's a work bench just over there. Thank. But first. Okay, so we want to build. We need some stone steps. We might as well make. Well, I gotta get me some more stone, actually. And we should already have the sconces that we need. Okay, so let's put away some of this food. Okay. 
So I need the stairs, I've got the ladders, and we've got the sconces. Luckily, I came prepared with infinite ladders. Why now? Why did we... Why is it that we always start top-down until now? What am I missing? Oh. Last two steps. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess it's because I can just jump up it, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. And with that, I gotta stop. But at least we got iron. Terrific dude, du dude. Uh, terrific job, dude. Now we can reach the iron all the way up by the roof. I gotta say, the scaffolding looks as sturdy as it's bleeding bril brilliant having a builder like you on hand. Make no mistake. And we will talk to him later. Let's see. Takes a while to save, but I guess that's kind of normal. Oh, unfortunately, I've been holding this controller a lot. It's got just a little bit of a texture to it, and it's actually chafing my hand. 